Thank you, Juliana. Up next, we have uh, someone with the initials DF. DF, if you'd go ahead and unmute. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Juliana. Thanks for the presentation. It was refreshing. I love your work. <laughs> I actually got one of your books. So when your new book comes out, that would be uh, added to my collection. Um, <laughs> thanks for talking about metabolism. I'm just wondering in your counseling or in your research work, have you come across things that you can um, advise uh, or provide uh, some advice on uh, about increasing um, brown adipose tissue versus white adipose tissue? Um, thank you in advance. Thank you. Thank you for the very good question. Um, this is where there's some talk about um, mild cold stress. And that's where I, this is not my expertise. We do talk about it in a health span solution, but this is not really my expertise. And like, this is where like the cold stuff comes in where you may have heard about. Um, the, the question I have still, and I haven't really seen, I haven't seen this in the literature is, does it matter? How much does it matter? So, but what I've read from what I've read, again, not my expertise. So I could just speak on what I've read. It's that you want some cold exposure. So keeping your, your ambient temperature a little bit lower, sleeping in cold temperatures, which also can improve your um, sleep and just is supportive of the circadian rhythm. The, the crazy stuff you hear about in the, you know, like in the media, like um, Wim Hof doing the like, you know, jumping into ice cold, doing crazy um, adventurous things to, to, that are shocking. Um, can increase brown adipose tissue. So you could try contrast showers, which are a little draconian. If you really want to try this, you go. I've tried them before. It's supposed to help with the circadian rhythm too, but not, and I, to develop more brown adipose tissue. So that means going hot, cold, hot, cold in the shower and uh, ending on cold. It's supposed to be like 10 times cold, hot uh, cycles. It's, they get more tolerable. But again, I'm still not convinced why it's, it's, it's that necessary. Some people feel really good. It helps kind of with the serotonin and dopamine responses. But um, again, I'm not sure why brown adipose tissue would be important to increase because how much is our metabolism gonna change by doing so? Like, is it really worth it? I don't know, I'm not convinced. I'd rather just, you know, support a healthy metabolism with diet and exercise and, you know, relaxation, meditation, good sleep, all those regular things. But I think a lot of people really love it. So there's, I would encourage you to keep reading about it and to go to, um, I don't know, just look into the research on like, there's, I don't know. I don't know. I guess my answer is, I don't know. It's a good question. And I just, I'm not sure uh, why people are aiming to do that. If it's really substantiated yet as to be a very effective and worthwhile feat to try to complete. <laughs> Sorry, I wish I had a better answer. That was great, Juliana. Thank you. And up next, we have, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, Alejandro, if you would go ahead and unmute yourself. Hi there. Hi, Juliana. Thank you. My question is, um, can you explain a little bit uh, about methylcobalamin B12 versus cyanocobalamin B12 and why you prefer the cyanocobalamin? Great question. Thank you. The most stable form and the most researched form is cyano. And that's why we recommend cyano. I don't think there's anything wrong with methyl. I think the absorption, it's like we're basically, we have the most knowledge and control over cyano. I know a lot of formulas use methyl. And um, I think it's relevant for the MT, I can never get this right, MTHR genes. And I think I've heard it's like upwards of 10% of the population, which was surprised. I just learned that a couple years ago. So. Um, but generally speaking, we just recommend cyano because it's the easiest to find. It's the most stable shelf wise, and it's just so researched. So we know the dosing really well with cyano. 